Now we're starting the I4 block, and this block has a center section with a clam point with arcs surrounding it. And I've got my pieces all set up here. So for the center section of the clam points, you're gonna I'm going to slice my fabric here and here and then baste it so that it will be it will base properly. These outside curves I'm going to gathering stitch baste after I glue baste this straight edge. My triangles I'm going to baste like I normally do and so let me get my center section going and then we can assemble it from there. Alright so I cut my pieces on my center piece here and I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to do the outsides of this and then I'm going to post, poke this in right here along the curve and I'm going to tighten it up right along there. And I'm going to do the same thing for all four sides. I'm going to do opposite sides first and then of course the other two and then I'm going to go to to work on the gathering stitches for these pieces next. Okay, so I have my pieces basted with my gathering stitch and they're taped to the middle. And it's a matter of taping them all and then I'm gonna make sure that my corners match because what happens is once you baste them, it kind of misshapens this point. So it's hard to get it exactly without putting them all on there. So I'll be able to fill in these spaces as I baste it together. But I wanted to show you how much gap was in here as I get this going. So I'm going to start in one corner and work my way around. Okay, so I basted all of my sides to my middle. And now i got to take out my gathering stitch. So I'm going to snip the two sides of the knot that I made. I'm going to pick out my stitches that are on top of my fabric. And then once these are out, I will pull on the knot that's sticking up on the other side. Um, yeah. Okay, so those are out, and I'm going to pull on this knot. And in theory, that should come out all together. So I'm going to do that on my other two, and then I have my middle done of my block. So this is the bottom row of my block. So this is the flying geese unit and then the two half square triangle units. I'm going to baste my triangles. I'm going to hold them all like this. I'm going to baste this side, this side, and this side in that order. So that way I can have these going away. Okay, so I got two of my half square triangle units put together and a flying geese unit. And I'm going to now take these and make these into a row and then I will make the other one and then I have two more flying geese units I need to make so I can attach those to my center to make my middle row so I got my side flying geese unit made and I'm going to attach it to my center unit and so then I'm going to end up with a row this one's already attached so I'm going to end up with my center row and I still haven't I have still haven't done my top row, but then it'll my bottom row will be like this, and my top row is a mirror image of that. So I'm getting there. So I got all three rows of my block assembled, my top row, my middle row, and then I just started attaching my bottom row. So I I started here and I went to past this first um, intersection, and then tied off. And I'm going to come back here and go on and meet it up here. So that way I can make sure that my ends land where they need to land. So I'm going to attach this and then I'll attach this and have a finished block. So now I got all my rows together and I have a completed I4 block.